I'm Yel Teagle with Fanversation. I'm so excited to be talking about The Calling. How's it going? It's going well. Where are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm great. I'm in Los Angeles. Oh, all um, right. I love a show about New York. I was just <laughs> in New York, so it was really exciting to get to see the city. Um, tell me about shooting another cop show in New York. How do you set it apart? Yeah, that's a, a great way to put it. Another cop show, which is, I think the expectation we all know people are going to come to this show with uh on the surface but um you know it starts with brooklyn i think that slightly changes the conversation from manhattan but at the end of the day it's these characters and i think if you watch the first two minutes of the show you'll suddenly see that these are not cops that we've seen before um they're very much cops that do exist in the world and and through doing our research and and from being in new york there are these compassionate uh cops that we hope perhaps the show inspires more of at the end of the day that could exist. Um, it's obviously uh, a melting pot of a location and it comes with its pros and its cons of, of trying to shoot there, but there's no substitution for New York City at the end of the day. It's, it's really exciting to be there. The calling the show is really quite Jewish. Um, I want to know, uh, was the story about a Jewish character to begin with or was that adjusted once you cast Jeff? So that was the the books it's based on is um, called The Missing File, and that takes place in Tel Aviv. So it's very much uh, a Jewish character. I will say we sort of deviate um, a little bit in that this is a character who is very much finding more of his Judaism, I'll say, as he goes, whereas in the books, he's sort of pulling away from the Judaism a little bit. A little bit. And we'll see that ebb and flow over the course of, of the series, of course. But I would hope someone who isn't Jewish could watch this series and go, Oh man, this guy's really interesting, and and I I question things. Maybe some of the things he does seem goofy to me, or, or I don't quite understand, and that's okay. Um, we want to have conversations about this, I think, and I would hope uh, again at the end of the day, this is a show that uh, encourages people to be different, uh, whether that's religion or anything else or, or race, um, but at the same time be able to have a meal with that person, have a discussion, have a friendship, um, have a family, and so that's what we hope to do in success. I really love that Avraham is is so um, compassionate and and really listens in such a way that seems to be novel to his colleagues and, and <laughs> novel to, I guess, viewers of cop shows. Um, I think that's so wonderful. Uh, you know, what was it like having to shoot something that was so, um, listening is not like a very visually fascinating yeah, thing, but you, you make it so interesting. It's a good point. I mean, that's where Barry Levinson comes in because he can shoot something so beautifully and all the other directors who worked on the series. It's where Hans Zimmer comes in because his music can put you inside of Avraham a little bit. But I will say that's also the point of the Janine character. I mean, Juliana Canfield, who plays her so incredibly well, is the audience. And she should serve as our window into looking at Avraham when he's in a moment of silence and to see through Janine what he might be going through, what she might be thinking about him, and therefore what we might be thinking about him. So hopefully through her character and their relationship, uh, we can shed some light on those quieter moments. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. It was great chatting with you. Thank you so much. Take care.